Hello, students. It's time to get acquainted with another data type, strings. Let's open the last project and save it in the same place with a new name. For example, strings. Also, let's create a new logical branch with the same name. Go to the scene settings. Disable the branch from the previous lesson and connect the new one with the name strings. So, a string is a set of characters, letters, numbers, punctuation marks, and spaces. To create a string, you need a string block. Anything we enter in the string in field will be a string value. For example, let's get a keyboard block, switch it to the started mode, Connect a print block to it and output the string from the string block to the console. For instance, the classic string hello world. Strings can be stored in variables just like numbers. Let's get an on init block. Create a setter. Leave the object field empty. Give the variable a name, my string, and assign it the string value hello world using the string block. Now let's output the variable's value to the console using the getter. Let's think about what will happen if we store a number in a string. Add two more setters. Name the first variable, number 9, and assign it the numerical value 9 using the integer block. Name the second variable, string 9, and assign it the same value, 9, but using the string block. Now let's take two getters and output the sum of two numerical values from the number 9 variable to the console. We will see the number 18 in the console. Now let's try to add a numerical value to a string. In the console, you will see the string 99. This time, we see not the result of mathematical calculations but simply two values side by side concatenated together. In reality, the math block does not work quite correctly with strings. For example, if we swap the channels and the first addend is a string, then we will see an extra zero in the console. Therefore, if we need to concatenate string values, we use the concatenate string block. With this block, you can combine any number of strings and get a single output in the desired format. For example, let's change the variable names to age and name and assign them new values 150 and Svetlana. Connect to getters with the new names to the concatenate string block and drag the result to the print block. The console will output the string, Svetlana 150. In my opinion, the output lacks a comma and a space between these values. Let's add another slot, reconnect the age to the last slot. In the middle, insert a comma with a space. It's getting better, but it's not the limit. Let's add two more slots. In the first one, Write an opening bracket, name, colon, space. Connect the name variable to the second slot. In the third slot, a comma, space, age, colon, space. Connect the age variable to the fourth slot. In the fifth slot, a closing bracket. Now the data looks better. In addition to concatenating them, you can perform many different actions with strings. For example, you can take any string and find its length. 
the length of a string is the number of characters in it. For this, you can use the string length block. If we connect the name variable to this block, the console will output the number 8. The length output has a numerical format, so we can use the obtained values for any mathematical operations. For example, if we add a math block and multiply the obtained length of the string by 2, the console will show the number 16. Another trick we can do with strings is to get a selected character from the string or a substring. For this, we need the substring block. The first number specifies the index of the first returned character in the string and the second number specifies the index of the character until which the substring will be taken. This element is not included in the substring. Indices start from zero. So, if we need to get the first character of the string, we need to specify a range from zero to one. We will get only the first character with the index zero, which is the letter S. If we specify a range of values from 4 to 8, the output will be Lana. Any nth character can be obtained using this combination. Connect an integer block with the required value to the first slot. Then connect the same value plus 1 to the second slot. and choose the desired index. If we need to obtain the last character, regardless of the string size, then connect the length of the string minus 1 to the first slot. Connect the actual length of the string to the second slot. Another common trick with strings is converting a string to uppercase or lowercase. For example, let's change the value of the name variable to my name is Svetlana. Capitalize each separate word. Now, connect a getter to the string case block and output the result to the console. The output will be a string consisting of uppercase letters. If you change the block mode to lowercase, then you will get a string with lowercase letters. Let's solve a little problem. How to get a string? That starts with an uppercase letter and the rest of the letters are lowercase. You can do the following. Get two substring blocks. From the first block, obtain the first character of the string, which is the uppercase letter M. From the second block, get a substring of the string from the second character to the last one. This means we need indices from 1 to 19. Why 19? Because spaces are also taken into account. In general, in the second slot, you can put any large number. If you don't want to count the number of characters and it doesn't affect anything, you can enter the number 100 or 500 in the second slot. The result will be the same. Let's pass the obtained substring through the string case block in lowercase mode. Combine the results with the concatenate string block and output to the console. We will get a string starting with an uppercase letter. That's enough for today. Of course, this is not everything. Strings are a vast topic and we will return to it more than once. We will be able to have a full, grown-up fun with strings right after understanding what loops, conditions, and arrays are. Meanwhile, take a break. See you soon.